part two. You. So William, you do all these projects. Tell me why do you do them? Um, I do like all these like projects because um I'm really like interested in like uh, solving some of the problems that our people our people are facing. So if you're gonna find like if you're gonna be able like to find a solution to solve some of the problem, I think. I shouldn't just like sit down and uh, not doing anything, but use your talent that you are like uh, you are you are given. A lot of people are given. We are talented in different like ways, but trying to find the ways of like using that talent to solve some of the problem that other people are facing. It's really like um, it's really like a great way of doing it. So for me. If I can do something, I'll try like to do something. Um, that's what it really, like uh, always like it really, like inspired me to do uh, to do a lot of like a uh, project because the uh, all for, like the most of like invention that we are seeing like today, it's all about like people trying to solve a certain pro- problem. That's how you come up with like an idea and. Uh, you can make like uh, a lot of like uh, different things if you have like, just like that mindset when you see you look at a challenge not as just like a challenge but looking at as like an opportunity for you to use your knowledge or to use your talent to come up with like a solution and William, how did like building all these different things grow you as a person um this has like uh um, grow me a lot of like uh, as a person like building like different things it's like um always the um trying to help me on like trying to find the ways of how can i exactly be able like to um being able like to like it has it has like uh, helped me like grow as a person in terms of like knowing what i wanted to do in a uh, in a, a long term as a person where exactly do I see myself uh, in in like uh, ten years from now, and what can I be able like to use all this like talent um, in a community or in an area or in a country like to solve uh, some problems? I think that's really like has made me like uh, grow and grow also in the way that. Um, not really like always like doubting like myself but it has like a growth that it made me like grow that there's like there's a lot of like possibilities like there's a lot of things that i can be able like to i can be able like to do uh, but not being like um, doubting like uh, myself um, uh, at any time well so william how i see it is you wanted to just try something small. You started small with the radio, then the windmill, and you used your talent. And then just by taking that first step, you now know exactly what you want to do. Yeah, it's like always like take that like uh, first step. It's um, it's the most like difficult one, like the first step. But I think uh, when you take the first step, uh, next time you are not gonna be at the same um, the same time. It's like you are moving. So, so it's like it's like always like um, you always like doing that like um, until you're gonna be you're gonna get like where you want to uh, where you want to get. So, we yeah, gonna use that uh, that quote as well. Take that first step, and then you're moving. <laughs> <laughs> so, William Luke Skywalker was mentored by Obi Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. So, do you have a mentor? Mm-hmm. Um, I have like some uh, some people that really like um, I have been like uh, looking up like people have always like uh, helped me out when I'm like uh, doing the work. But mostly when I started the building the uh, building the windmill, one person that really like uh, inspired me looked up. I looked up to um, was my uh, my grandmother. Um, oh. My grandmother like really like inspired me uh, because he. Uh, in Malawi, there's this division of labor. There's some work they say this is for men and this is for women. One of the jobs that is considered to be for um, quote unquote for men, it's like making bricks. Uh, if you want to build your house, it's still like it's a tough job. Uh, um, I'll, 
I'll admit that, but uh, a lot of people they say like this one is being it's only can be done by men. But my grandmother started making bricks by herself. Mm. And a lot of people were like, uh, why are you doing this instead of your husband? She was like, um, when you are across caught a fire, you don't wait for somebody to put off that fire. So she was referring that um, when, um, when you are in trouble, you don't wait for somebody to pull you out of trouble. You are the one, you know your problems, you know your troubles better than anyone else. So it was saying that, um, so you can start trying to find like a solution of your solution of your problems, and the people might be able like to see you that you are struggling. They might come along and help you, but if you don't start it by yourself, nobody gonna come and solve your problem that they don't know your problem. So that really like inspired me that uh, whenever I have like uh, some problem that I can be able like. To to work on i should be at least like trying to find the way of like working on it so that really like inspired me in most of my most of the thing that i do that um this is like the problem that i'm facing no one is just gonna come from somewhere to solve the problem for me but i should be able to work on the pro- problem on my, my own that's how like um it really like inspired me on uh, on that Wow, your grandmother seems like some wise woman. <laughs> <laughs> very, very strong, <laughs> strong man. <laughs> so William, you seem like you have so many projects uh, on your plate. How do you set your goals? It's um, for me. It's like uh, setting up like the the goals. It's like uh, always um, trying to see like yeah. I always like say like uh, this is what I can do. Uh, this is what I want to do. Then I will do uh, piece like uh, piece by piece. Say um, at least like by this time I should be able like to finish with this uh, this uh, this project. But um, either if I don't finish it, I don't um, I don't say like uh, that's it because I set up like my goals sometimes. You can set up uh, a goals, but things doesn't always go the way you wanted it. Um, but being able to recognize that that you're gonna be, they're gonna be like some bumps or some challenges. But being able like to uh, go around those like challenges and you continue up with my uh, with your um, your goals, it's uh, that's the that's the way I I, I do it um, in. In, in anything so so I always like try to being able like to schedule to, to know exactly what at the first place before starting any like project um, what is my end uh, my end goal what do I want to achieve by the end of this uh, this um, uh, this project and the, trying to find how do I get where I want to get from now so looking all the possibilities that i can be able to use it's always like help me like guide me when i'm trying to do any any project hey head start i hope you enjoyed that episode as much as i did watching myself yeah the camera is like what the heck is happening with you but that's always weird anyway like subscribe if there was anything that blew your mind please comment below and if you want to watch the full episode as a podcast then check out the links below oh.